So uh, this practical is about the histology of the cartilage. In musculoskeletal module, we have uh, the bone slides, histology of bone. We have the histology of cartilage, and we have the we've got the slides of the muscle as well, the histology of muscle. So in cartilage in previous uh, practical we discussed the histology of bone. We have got two slides related to the histology of bone. But in cartilage we have got three slides. One is that of the elastic cartilage. The other one is that of the hyaline cartilage. And the third slide we have got uh, in our histology lab is about the fiber cartilage. So you need to know the basic identification points of all these three slides and how Secondly, how you are going to uh, differentiate the hyaline cartilage from the elastic and from the fibrocartilage. So you, you need to know all the three, uh, all the basic identification points in these slides at low magnification by using the normal HME staining techniques. So we will discuss these slides one by one. First, we have got the Highline cartilage. The slide of the highline cartilage, we will discuss the basic identification points, how you are going to identify the slide, how you are going to identify the highline cartilage at low magnification under the light microscope. And then we will discuss the how you are going to differentiate this slide from the fibrocartilage slide and from the slide of the elastic cartilage. So the highline cartilage first, the slide of the highline cartilage. You can see this is a slide uh, of the hyaline cartilage, how it looks under the light microscope and how it looks at low magnification, that is the 10 magnification. This is a slide, this is a tissue taken from the tracheal wall. You can see, you all know that the trachea wall, it has got the hyaline cartilage in a small in the form of the C-shaped rings. So this slide is taken actually from the wall of the trachea. The basic identification points would be for to label a slide as the slide of the hyaline cartilage, we should be able to see the chondrocytes. Chondrocytes are the cartilage cells, mature cartilage cells, which, which you should be able to see these cells very clearly in a slide of the hyaline cartilage. So the chondrocytes, you can see the chondrocytes. You know, one, the these are the chondrocytes which are actually uh, occupying spaces which are called lacunae. So you should be able to see the chondrocytes and lacunae first. Then you can see a dense irregular connective tissue in the form of the perichondrium. And thirdly, you should be able, once you see the chondrocytes, these chondrocytes are actually arranged in the form of isogenous groups. So these are the three identification points on the basis of which you can label a slide as a slide of the hyaline cartilage. First, you should be able to see the cartilage cells or the chondrocytes. Then the arrangement, you have to concentrate on the arrangement of these, pattern of these uh, cells that these are arranged in the form of isogenous groups. And thirdly, you should be able to see a layer of a dense irregular connective tissue covering this uh, hyaline cartilage, which is called the perichondrium. So on the basis of these points, you can label the slide as a slide of the hyaline cartilage. So this is the diagram which you need to draw in your histology practical notebooks. Again, concentrating the, on the basic identification points, you need to draw the chondrocytes very clearly. You need to draw these chondrocytes in the form of groups, isogenous groups. And thirdly, you need to draw a very clear picture of the perichondrium. Perichondrium is the layer dense irregular connective tissue, which is going to surround this hyaline cartilage. So you need to draw this diagram very clearly, neat and clean diagram of the trachea in your histology practical notebooks. Second, we are going to discuss the elastic cartilage, how the slide of the elastic cartilage or the elastic cartilage tissue it looks under the light microscope, how you're going to identify this slide and to label it as the elastic cartilage and how you're going to differentiate this type of cartilage from the rest of the two types of cartilage. So we need to discuss all the basic identification points to label a slide as the slide of the elastic cartilage.
So this is a slide showing the elastic cartilage taken at uh, a relatively high magnification. You can see the chondrocytes in this picture. You can see the chondrocytes in the form of the groups in Lecuni. You can see the perichondrium is present as well. And thirdly, the eosinophil, the matrix or the ground substance, it appears eosinophilic. And this eosinophilia is actually because of the presence of the elastic, very delicate elastic fibers in the matrix. So these are the basic identification points which help you to identify this slide as the elastic cartilage and label this slide as the slide of the elastic cartilage. You need to draw this picture, this diagram in your histology practical notebooks. The stain used here is the silver staining. The silver stain actually used for the elastic fibers to become more prominent and this picture is taken at relatively high magnification. So you need to draw the chondrocytes uh, located in the lecuni and you need to draw these chondrocytes in the form of bunches or groups and thirdly you need to draw a pic uh, you need to draw a layer of the perichondrium as well in the matrix you can draw these el 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 elastic fibers these dedicated elastic fibers so these three points should be taken in mind they should be drawn very clearly to label a slide as a slide of the elastic cartilage so you need to draw this picture in your histology practical notebooks Third, we need to, you need to know the histology of the fibrocartilage. So, you should be able to identify a slide of the fibrocartilage and you should be able to know the identification, the basic identification points for the fibrocartilage. So, this is a picture which is showing the fibrocartilage using the normal h &E staining technique. Fibrocartilage means it should there should be abundant fibers in the matrix. Identification points would be the collagen fibers, the bundles of the collagen fibers, which are arranged parallel to each other. You should be able to draw these bundles of the collagen fibers, very pinkish fibers. Secondly, the, you should be able to you uh, you should be able to see the chondrocytes, which are arranged actually in rows in between these bundles of the collagen fibers. And there is no perichondrium in this type of cartilage. So these are the identification points. First, you need to see the bundles of the collagen fibers, the pinkish bundles of the collagen fibers, and these collagen fibers are actually arranged parallel to each other. Secondly, you should be able to see the chondrocytes, and these you have to concentrate on the arrangement of these chondrocytes, which are actually arranged in rows in between these bundles. These are the identification points on the basis of which you can identify a slide of the fibrocartilage. This is the diagram which you need to draw in your histology practical notebooks. A fibrocartilage tissue taken from the intervertebral disc using the HNE, the hematoxylene and eosine staining. You need to draw the chondrocytes clearly in rows. The arrangement should be in rows in between the bundles of the collagen fibers. First, you need to draw the collagen bundles. And in between these bundles, you should, you should uh, draw the chondrocytes which are arranged in rows in between these bundles. So this is a diagram which you need to draw in your histology practical notebooks. This was all about the, the three slides which are available in the histology lab about the cartilage. We have got the elastic cartilage slide, we have got the fibrocartilage and we have got the highline cartilage. So, Keeping in mind all the basic identification points, you should be able to identify these slides and to differentiate one type of elastic, uh, one type of cartilage from another type of cartilage on the basis of these identification points. Thank you.